does that say? Looks like there's... Well, it says Toluca. But then it looks like there's pictures of maybe coffee beans on it? I'm thinking either coffee beans or burgers. side. Laundry cart. Nothing useful inside. There's something very eerie about these faintly illuminated hotel lobbies and walkways. hanging here. Nothing unusual about it. There's a rectangular indentation. There's a plate in front of the indentation, and something's engraved on it. Seat of the princess who fled at midnight. Play the music box? Sure? Doesn't sound quite right. Is this music box broken? Or maybe... That must be what this is for. There must be two more. I have the Little Mermaid music box. Can't leave this hotel just yet. Keys in the key box. Hold on, there's one here. Key to room 312. The key to the room where Mary and I stayed. Looks like the phone is broken. Fifty-eight 
fish key. A <laughs> fish key has been served up. Bon appetit. I love you can even see outside and see the fog outside. Ooh. Did I scare you? You did. Yeah, you did. You're here to find Mary, aren't you, James? Well, have you? No. Is that why you're here, too? She's here, isn't she? If you know where she is, tell me. I'm tired of walking. I wish I knew. But she said it in her letter. What letter? Wanna read it? But don't tell Rachel, okay? Who's Rachel? She was our nurse. I took it from her locker. My dearest Laura, I'm leaving this letter with Rachel to give to you after I'm gone. I'm far away now, in a quiet, beautiful place. Please forgive me for not saying goodbye before I left. Be well, Laura. Don't be too hard on the sisters. And Laura, about James. I know you hate him because you think he isn't nice to me, but please give him a chance. It's true he may be a little surly sometimes, and he doesn't laugh much, but underneath He's really a sweet person. Laura, I love you like my very own daughter. If things had worked out differently, I was hoping to adopt you. Happy eighth birthday, Laura. Your friend forever, Mary. Laura. How old are you? Um, I turned eight last week. So, Mary couldn't have died three years ago. Could, could she really be here? Is this the quiet, beautiful place she was talking about? Me and Mary talked a lot about Silent Hill. She even showed me all her pictures. She really wanted to come back. That's why I'm here. Maybe you'll get it if you see the other letter. The one, Mary. Huh? I must have dropped it. Laura. I gotta find it. Laura. So, Laura said that Rachel was our nurse. And Mary and, and Laura had become really good friends. So I think when Mary was in the hospital, dying of, not sure exactly what, uh, I'm guessing probably cancer, Laura was another patient there that they talked with a lot. So they're even hoping to adopt her. We're really, really close. There's a piano here. I remember how much Mary liked to play the piano. She wasn't very good, but I still love to hear her play. That was so long ago, before we were even married. Why am I thinking of that now? A drawing done by Laura. A cat? <laughs> I think it's a cat. It's got whiskers. That's cute. Oh, 
Oh god. This thing again? Uh, we need something stronger than a pistol this time. Hmm, I don't have much rifle left. Let's go with the shotgun. Oh god, another one? I wasn't expecting to see these things again. Why are they here? Multiple of them. I thought they were very specific to Angela. Oh, I didn't try the elevator. Doesn't work, as always. So I got a couple keys. I haven't tried to go upstairs yet. Downstairs. Oh, God, fucking hell. the shit out of me the way it started moving as soon as I shined my light on it I think that's actually what made it wake up I think it reacted to the light there's a face here it's not something that I can use right now it's weird the choice of objects to get that the game gives you a description on a lot of things don't have descriptions, but certain things like a vase do, even though they're completely irrelevant. It's very weird. What the hell? Why is it? What's up with this door? Or is it not a door? Is it just like an electrical panel? I guess some sort of service panel thing. Oh. Hmm, there's something at the bottom of the elevator right in the center. Looks like a trap. camera subtly zooms closer in as you approach the whatever this is it just slightly zooms in a can of thinner like paint thinner a small can filled with thinner was lying inside the elevator the elevator. Can I really not use the elevator? No, I really can't. Let's go upstairs. Actually, uh, hold on, what keys do I have? Fish key, fish, fish shaped key holder. Key to the room. Was there another key? 
Now that's it. So fish key. Is there something down here that I could unlock? Hmm. Nothing down here is actually locked. Just a couple locked rooms. Trying to see if there's anything that the fish room might go to. Some sort of, like, seafood restaurant or something. Don't see anything on this floor. I think this is the cloak room. I love that. I love how it's right behind the hangers. It just moves down as you get further away from them. It's really startling, because like I don't even know the hangers are there from this angle right here. Then move forwards and suddenly, woof, there's something in front of the camera. Can't hear anything from the receiver. Could the phone line possibly be cut? bag is locked. I don't suppose the fish key would work? Wait, does it? Oh, wow. I didn't expect that to work. Room 204. One of the rooms I just tried, I think. I love how claustrophobic these hallways are. Like, look at this. There's barely room for two people to walk by each other. There's a book here. Doesn't look like it'll be of any particular use. Book open on top of the desk. Looks like a medical book. I've already read enough medical books. None of them ever did any good. Read so many books about what was killing Mary. Tourist brochures are lined up here.
Wait, what's that? Oh, the check mark on that round thing in the cloakroom. That's for the the suitcase that I just opened up. Let's go to room 204, now that we have the key for it. This curtain is. I love how the camera angle, look how it like twists. What's that say? It doesn't have a name on the map. Oh, employee elevator key was for here. even marked on the map really i guess areas that are grayish perhaps are employee only yeah cloak room is gray yeah i think so memos hanging here Shelf is empty. I don't think I want to go in the elevator just yet. Yeah, I still want to see if I can get up here and check all these rooms. Uh, I want to try going down the stairs. Okay, that doesn't go anywhere. Let's try going down the stairs. I just, I don't know where that's going to lead me. Down to the first floor. Somewhere I've already been on the first floor, or... Yeah, this is just down to the main area. Okay. Into the elevator, then. Oh, wonderful noise. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's that's great. Just take me somewhere, please. Uh. Wait, what did that say? Is it, oh, ah, fuck that noise, man. I said something. 
There's something written over the button. What's this? Weight allowance one person. Ah. Fuck. It is so hard to think of that noise. Mm. Weight allowance one person. Are you telling me I weigh more than one person? Is that because of all the guilt that James is carrying? What do I do, though? I have one music box. Is Maybe I don't need three? Maybe that's enough? I doubt it. I can't think of how to use the thinner in this situation. I don't want to go back in there because of the freaking noise. I'm going to go back in. Can I use anything on it? Not that, not that, not surprisingly. Okay, let's leave. <sighs> Maybe I don't need three music boxes. I'm just going to go try putting it somewhere. Down the stairs. Seat of the princess who awoke from death. Now it definitely needs three. Seat of the princess who spoke no words. Didn't mean to play it. Which one do I have? The little mermaid. Pretty sure the Little Mermaid spoke, and I don't think they arose from death. Who fled at midnight. Hmm. It occurs to me that I don't know anything about the Little Mermaid, but I don't think it matters. I think I need two more music.